What's going on? It's KC. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So in today's video, I want to show you how to make an 808 in the ES2 synth, which comes with Logic, so you can create your own 808s from scratch. Before we do that, quickly shout out my two new subscribers, Oled Still and Critical Thinker. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate you both. I hope you've hit that notification bell as well, so you get notified for future videos. Also, I want to shout out my favorite comment for this week, coming from Joshua Saki. Thank you, bro. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your feedback. I'm appreciating the support that I'm getting. Tremendous support. I appreciate it a lot. Let's jump into this video. I forgot to put a sweetener in my tea. I had to quickly run back and do that. So I'm going to show you how to do this 808 in the ES2 synth. First of all, we're going to need an ES2 synth. Go to instrument. Click on ES2, open the ES2 synth, then we're going to go to the initial presets. First we need to do that by going into tutorial settings, looking for analog sort in it. It's going to turn off all the parameters that we don't need to use. This is what it sounds like. Once you've done that, change the first oscillator to a sine wave. Change the mod wheel, turn that off. LFO, we put that onto envelope 1. Now we've got this sound. Getting close to an 808. So we want to change this long and short parameter, drop it to about 40, between 41 31. If you notice, you can hear a click, so we want to get rid of that click. You do that by going into the ADSR, which is attack, decay, sustain and release. Change the attack to get rid of the initial transient, just to smooth it off. So if you've got a kick punching underneath, the kick's going to fill that space. You can have the attack as slow or as fast as you want. If you like that click sound, then leave it, leave it where it is. But I like to have it sounding a bit smooth. Right there is fine. So we're going to go to the release. When we push the release up, this is making the tail of the 808 longer. I normally use quite long, not long, but I like to use longer tails of my 808s. And you can do this by using the release. Nearly there. So going back to the oscillator, we're going to drop the oscillator down to the octave of 12 or 24. We try 24, see how that sounds. Now it's sounding more like an 808. So if you want it to be a bit more grittier, just add a bit of distortion. You can either use a plug-in or you can just use the parameters that's on ES2. I've used the distortion knob just here. Use as much as you want or just as little as you want. You're creating this sound, so it's entirely up to you. And then we're going to put a bit of drive in it as well. Nearly forgot, we changed the parameters in this section, so we need to just slide the slider up, and that's going to give you that finishing touch. Now, if you notice, when I press two keys at the same time, or one after the other, you can hear the bleed into the next key. We don't want that. All we need to do is just change the unison. So the second note will cut off the first note. You can either do it by using a unison or you can just change it to mono, whatever suits you. There you have it, that's your 808 done. Put that in your beats, make your own sounds, your signature sound, your signature 808s. No one else can copy, you're good to go.
Now you know how to create an 808 from scratch using the ES2 in the Lo in Logic Pro VST synth that comes with Logic. The beauty about creating your, your own 808s is you know what key it's in. Half the battle's won. You know sometimes you get a pack and you don't know what the key of the 808's in and you're chasing the tail. Then now you don't have to do that. So it's all good. Hit me up on Instagram if you've got any questions or you just want to connect. If this video has helped at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.